Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Well, as many of you know, this is the 100th year since women earned the right to vote in New York State. So it is the suffrage centennial. And in Glens Falls, there's a lot of things going on between now and the end of the year to help in, uh, celebrate this. But uh, we've got an event coming up Friday that we wanted you to know about. And joining me is Kim Harvish, who's an educator at the Chapman Museum in Glens Falls. Now, if any of you don't know the Chapman Museum, you should. It's a wonderful museum in Glens Falls that constantly has exhibits about the history of our region. Uh, welcome, Kim. Thank you. Very nice to have you, you here. Um, so, 100 years since you got the vote, huh? Right. Gee, right. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Will you please change the world? Okay, just let's start there. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of men wouldn't mind that. Um, you, uh, you've been an educator at the Chapman Museum for a couple of years now? About six years. Six years, got mm -hmm. it, okay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I started by mentioning the Chapman Museum. It's a wonderful museum. And uh, really there's always very mm -hmm. interesting exhibits going on. And I just want to talk about the exhibit that's going on now because it does dovetail the walking tour that's happening this Friday, right? Sure. 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 So yeah, um, everything's Ray... always kind of intricate. Seneca. That's right. Seneca Ray Stoddard. Yo. Yeah, we, we, uh, we're very fortunate to have over 4,000 of his images. He was a wow. very prolific uh, photographer from the late 1800s, mm -hmm. early 1900s in yes, Glens right. Falls. And mm -hmm. uh, the exhibit that's at the Chapman now are photographs of Lake George. Right. Yeah. It's yeah, a perfect summer. Uh, yes, right. <laughs> um, but it's, a, it's called Water and Light because he was a very um, experimental photographer. He came right. up with a lot of uh, techniques uh, working with uh, the play interplay between water and light. And mm -hmm. uh, there's some stunning, and, and people will recognize the places, I think, some of the places. We've, we had to choose 46 out of like 700 of our images yeah, of Lake right. George. So You know, yeah. and if you know anything about his work, and you will recognize the locations, especially mm -hmm. if you frequent Lake George, but uh, he was very experimental at the time. You think of it as now you just push a button on a computer or something, sure. but you realize what he had to do with the plates and what he had to do with light to get the effect that he was looking for. If you look at the sky and you look at the way the light hits a lot of his subjects, you realize how advanced right. he was and how experimental he was at sure. the time. Sure, right? a lot of it had to, a lot of it took place in the dark room as well. Yeah, sure. Where he had some assistance. Yes, and hence, <laughs> boy, nice segue. <laughs> Would that have anything to do with his two wives? I think it did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And that's part of what you're celebrating on the walking yeah, now tour. Let, let's be clear, he didn't have two wives at one time, but yeah, uh, right. right and, uh, but both of his wives did help him in the dark room. Um, mm. It was actually quite of a family affair. His brother-in-law helped him in the field, and um, but we have pictures of them working in the dark room. Um, and uh, now he worked in Glens Falls, right? Yes, he oh, did. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so the walking tour that's coming up, which is uh, they do a couple of these a year. Right? Yeah, we're, we have three scheduled for this yeah. for the summer. Basically. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. these are wonderful walking tours. Bring shoes. The comfortable shoes, that is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you go barefoot. You know, but I, I don't know if you'd want to go barefoot. But um, what's the connection to, uh, to Ray and his wives and this walking tour? Well, that will be, we'll be going near where he, uh, his home and studio, they were together, wow. uh, near the corner of Elm and South Street, which oh most people God. don't realize that was a, a neighborhood in downtown yes. Glens Falls at the time. Boy, I bet. And what else on the walking tour? Well, we have, uh, we're... We're trying to, to focus on suffragists uh, yes. this year, so we do have a couple suffrage stories. Um, but we're also talking about women and where they worked, uh, how they lived, mm. uh, were they able to bank, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Um, one of the banks in town uh, touted that they, that they could allow women to bank there. Wow. The only problem, the only caveat was it was through the back door with their own teller. Unbelievable. So you know a lot of lot of stories about lots of different types of women uh, and their uh, the way that they lived. 
Got it. And uh, if any of you have been on the walking tours, you know, Kim does a wonderful job. She researches everything. The locations are handpicked. But uh, you also, as I recall, you'll, you'll like bring photographs along. Yes. Right? Not, not for every place, but, but as yes. much as I can, I bring large, enlarged photographs, old photographs, because I think it's very important, you know, for for people to look and see what exactly I am talking, you know, yeah, it's, right. it's one thing for me to say, well, such and such used to be here, or this was built as a whatever, but if you actually see the photograph, or you see the photograph of a woman working uh, as, a, as a secretary in, the, in an open window yeah. of a place that you're looking at, you know, it just gives it a different... Uh, well, a whole different Much perspective. Yeah, right. Engage, you know, it gives, engagement. It, it really yeah. does. It gives mm -hmm. you the opportunity to actually step back in time. Oh, wait a minute. Stepping back in time, <laughs> might they be a guest or two to oh, meet along yes. the way? Oh, yes. We don't, we don't want to just hear me on the walking <laughs> tour, so we always meet someone on the walking tour. Mm -hmm. uh, we're never sure who, uh, <laughs> right. but someone from the past will meet us somewhere along the way and, and tell their story. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a wonderful way to spend an evening in, in the summer. Uh, it's this Friday. starts 6 p.m. at the Chapman, which is right downtown. Isn't Chapman on Elm? Yeah. Is that Elm? We're, no, we're on no. Uh, Bacon, at the corner of Bacon and Glen, Glen right across from the Travelers. Right, yeah. And we have free parking in the back off Bacon mm -hmm. Street. It's, uh, and get there early, by the way, because you do want to go in and see the Seneca Ray Stoddard exhibit. It's really something to see. Right. But then, 6 o'clock, you go on a walking tour. It takes about an hour or so, right? A little bit over an hour. A little bit um, over an hour. We, we, we say an hour and a half just to, to mm -hmm. give ourselves time. And we do have, uh, we do have limited space on the walking tour, okay. so please call um, yes. and make a reservation. Got right. it, okay. Yeah. You know, it is an opportunity to see things that you drive by every day and you don't realize the historical That's, significance, yeah. who worked there, what contribution they made to the town and to society and to politics, but really to society when you talk about the suffrage movement, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, let's face mm -hmm. it. That's and you wish that we learn from history sometimes, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we'll, we'll end absolutely. On that. okay <laughs> Friday at six p.m. at the Chapman Museum in downtown Glens Falls. Make it a point. Bring a water bottle, comfortable shoes, maybe pack an umbrella, but don't think about that. And just and, uh, and really I, enjoy and yourself. Can I say the other two days? Yes, sure. Uh, August tenth at mm -hmm. six p.m., which is a Thursday, and Sunday, September seventeenth at two p.m. Good. We'll have you back right before then, so we remind okay. the viewers. Okay. okay, Kim. Great to see you as usual. Yeah, thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.